All right, Heisman odds. Let's look at them on Caesars. Uh, C.J. Stroud plus one thirty, Caleb Williams plus five fifty, and Bryce Young now with that shoulder injury at eight to one. Harry's Hendon Hooker fourteen to one. Everybody staying with their pick. I can't even remember who I took. Uh, Harry, I know you love Hooker. It was, you were getting forty to one. Now it's fourteen, right? Yeah, uh, they're four and zero. They've scored one hundred and ninety four points. The Vols have in four games. He's completing seventy two percent of his passes, which is tremendous for college. 1,200 yards. He's got 11 total touchdowns. Hasn't turned the ball over. 200 rushing yards. Now, this week, they do play at LSU. Uh, Got to get by the Tigers. Here. Get by the Tigers. Then the week after, Bama comes to Knoxville. That would be a lot of fun watching that game, especially with uh, Young being uh, banged up here. And then a couple weeks after that, they play at Georgia. Georgia. Not oh, I didn't know they played. Lately. They played Bama. To, they played Bama and Georgia in a coin flip played, against LSU this week. Yeah, tough schedule, but you get by <laughs> LSU, you got Bama at home with Young Hurt, and then a couple weeks later at Georgia, who Georgia just offensively hasn't looked overly impressive. I'm sticking with Hooker, and uh, like I said, he's 40-1, to 1, down to 14. I'm trying to think, because I think they have to win all three of those games for him to get Yeah, that. I was going to so, say, do you have to win? You have to beat Bama and Georgia? You almost have, you're almost, yeah. are you better off at, with these odds just parlaying those just two taking games? Just taking plus numbers, kind of yeah. See? Mm. Maybe. Maybe Do I tell Brad to get, you know, I know Brad's coming into a little bit of a cash soon. Yeah. Our buddy Brad. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I got to <laughs> tell him, like, he's been texting me about Tennessee. Put your money right. where your mouth is, Brad. Let's go. All right. Well, yes, he is. Uh, he's going to be Hook a very up rich with man. Hooker. Very, very mm. rich man. Inheritance coming, uh, I think, Friday. Maybe we'll bring him on uh, Friday. Nice. Uh, for that, <laughs> we'll get into that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Brian, what are you at? Are you Stroud or Williams? Oh, yeah. Smith and Jigba is still not a chance. Uh, that's how I give up. Uh, <laughs> well, that's all you got. Right. I, I gave him. I give. I gave him out. He got hurt. I, in a, he I got like hurt that, in the like second. Like he got hurt in the first quarter of the right. first game. Um, I'm with you. I had the Ohio State running back, and that that's uh, that, well, that was a I know pick too. What, yeah. Well, the thing is, like at, at this time, Trevion right? Anderson, two hundred. Stroud at plus one thirty. Those odds suck, right? You can't. Uh-huh. Even though when you look at the list, you're kind of like, ah, oh, probably has to be Stroud, yeah. but. Uh, you can't you can't jump on those odds at this point in time. I mean, I, I same thing. I don't know. I was, I bet, bet him to beat, bet him to beat Michigan, right? In the last right. game, right? Yeah, that, right, that's, right. That's yeah. all that. Means. I mean, they'll be a they'll be still a decent favorite in there, but will, yeah, yeah, bet him, bet him <laughs> to win. Yeah, um, but then I, I was looking at like Blake Corum for Michigan mm-hmm. at twenty to one. You know, guys up the ten touchdowns, touch, t- ten touchdowns, like six and a half yards per carry. So I got again, some, I, I got somebody to throw in yeah. there. Who you got? Go ahead. Well, my guy was Van Dyke on Miami. Is he even starting for them anymore? He what was, happened to that kid? He, wow. he did get benched. He, did, he get benched. did get benched, but now he's probably starting. All right, you got to pick a new one then, Parley. <laughs> no, I, 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 I would throw out just because, I mean, it's, he's not going to win it. It's, it's, but, um, I mean, his numbers are going to be fantastic at the end of the year. Uh, Rogers from Mississippi State. I mean, he's, right. guys, you know, he's yeah. got a great coach. He's in a great passing offense, mm-hmm. um, you know. It didn't help Old that A&M, he, who had a good defense. Di- didn't didn't help that he lost to my LSU Tigers at, at all. Right, that hurt him probably. I think that's the game that's going to come back to get him. Uh, what are his odds right now, Sal Rogers? Uh, hundred to one. Uh, was it a hundred? You know, it, it's yeah. so screwed up because you look at this and like Adrian yeah, Martinez. He's too many. He had, just... the, he had the big win. Adrian Martinez is like top seven or eight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think like that guy was dead? He's played football for eleven years in college. Mm-hmm. Hung fifty five on Oklahoma though, so that might do. It. Yeah, yeah it does so it that's a, a big bit. one. All right, listen. Whatever you're betting, teasers over or under. Do it through Caesars because they have all the names: Caesar himself, Cleo, the Mannings, Henrik Lundqvist, and now yours truly. Yes, against all odds is now a proud member of the Caesars Empire, and you know what it is that sets Caesars Sportsbook and Casino apart from the others? It's the perks. It's the only sports betting app with Caesars Rewards, so every time you place a bet, win or lose, you get reward credits, which could use towards game tickets, bonuses, experience, free stays at iconic Caesars destinations, and more. And your very first bet? Check this out, Harry. It's on Caesars. Up to $1,250. If you win, congrats. If you don't, you'll get it all back as a free bet. That first bet also gives you 1,000 tier credits and 1,000 reward credits putting you closer to the types of perks only Caesars can offer. So download the app, use promo code CZRFULL, and go full Caesars this season. Which member of the Heisman House would you want to roommate with? I have to go with. 
have to go with my guy. I know he's showing backwards, but Bo Jackson. Mm -hmm. How could I right. not go with Bo? Greatest football player ever to live. My favorite kid player growing up. TD. Roger Staubach. Oh, right? Right. But, and you can't. Look, what don't you want out of a roommate, right? Roger Staubach is everything you'd want in a roommate to live with, right? He's, he's, he's from the Naval Academy, right, Sal? I can, he's going to be able to bounce a quarter off those sheets with him, right? Can it keep the house nice and clean, very orderly? No major parties going on in the house? This is what I want from a roommate. This is the ideal roommate. Roger Staubach. Boring. I'm going field, plus 250. And my man, Herschel Walker. Now, mm -hmm. I'll even pay the rent. I don't care. I mean, this oh, guy no. has brought me such joy. Indirectly trading his <laughs> Got us three Super Bowl wins. What do we get, Paul Leakey? We got Emmett. We got Russell Maryland. We got Darren Woodson. Uh, and then post-NFL Herschel, this is the funniest athlete around. Just give me his theories on trees and the sun. We'll laugh all day long. Me and Herschel right there in the Heisman house. That's my answer. Harry, Heisman house, who's your roommate? Uh, definitely Ricky Williams, right? And uh, the three of you can figure out why. Uh, <laughs> mm. He's got his own weed brand called Heisman. Oh, Ricky Williams. Oh, clean it up a little bit on the podcast, Harry. For <laughs> yeah, Harry. I'm not Go wearing on. the shirts anymore. I'm cleaning it up. I don't wear shirts anymore. Working for the Mannings now. Come on, give me a break, Harry. Like, that stuff's not glamorous anymore. It's not cool anymore. You live in Long Island. You, no one knows what does that mean? glamorous in Long Island. You what what does that mean? Room. It's not edgy or hip anymore. It, it's not edgy or hip. Nobody needs to hear about this stuff anymore.